Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. There's this really great faith-based organization called Samaritan's Purse. They are amazing. They help people in all sorts of ways. And every year they have this program called Operation Christmas Child. People who participate take a shoebox and fill it with gifts and essential items and Samaritan's Purse sends them out to over 100 countries all over the world to children who may have never received a Christmas present before. So I just think it's really special. So I just wanted to share with you how I built my shoe boxes and what items I included. So first you want to decide if you want your shoe box to be for a boy or a girl and what age range you want it to fall in, which can be either two to four, five to nine, or 10 to 14. You can make as many shoe boxes as you'd like, but I decided to make one for a boy and one for a girl in the five to nine age range. I also think it's important to personalize the shoebox as much as possible to make it more meaningful for the child. So I decided to come up with a theme for each box. I did a unicorn theme for the girl and a car theme for the boy. So when you go to the store to purchase your gifts, it's important that you include some essentials in there, such as bandages, hairbrushes, toothbrushes, um, something for the child to wear, blankets, anything that's a necessity. School supplies are also a must because some of these kids aren't able to go to school because they don't have the supplies that they need. And you should definitely include some toys, activities, musical instruments, stuffed animals, etc. I also decided to make some handmade friendship bracelets for the little girl so that she can share them with her friends. You can pretty much pack anything you like as long as it's not liquid, no war-related items such as military figures, um, nothing that's breakable, and no food or candy or anything like that. So I just wrapped up a couple of shoe boxes that I found in my closet. I put a link down below to a video that shows you how to properly wrap them if you're interested. You can also order plastic shoe boxes from Samaritan's Purse if you'd like. This is optional, but I decided to decorate the inside of the lid so the child will be surprised when they open it up. I painted a little road for the boy to play with his cars on and a colorful rainbow for the girl along with some Bible verses. Next, it's time to pack your shoe box. I just stuffed mine full with whatever I could fit in there. For the girl, I just filled it with things that went along with the unicorn theme, such as this unicorn coloring book, stickers, I made sure she had some pencils to write with. I included this adorable unicorn dress for her to enjoy wearing. This little notebook, some colorful bandages, a solar powered calculator is a must. Some chalk and crayons. These kids will definitely need a pencil sharpener as well. I think musical instruments are also a great item to pack. And then I added some sparkly hair accessories and some unicorn stuffed animals. For the boy, I included the same things. I found this cool t-shirt with some matching socks, um, some activity books, notebooks, and pencils to write with. I found this really cool Lego set where he can build a little car. I added some bandages, a comb, and other essentials for him, and some little toy cars, a ball, and a stuffed animal for him as well. This is optional, but you can also write a short, meaningful letter to the child if you'd like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Don't forget to go to the Samaritan's Purse website to purchase and print your labels where you'll select the gender and age group of the receiver and it also includes a tracking number so you can see which country your shoebox will end up. And last but not least, just drop off your shoebox at a local participating church. National Collection Week is November 15th through the 22nd. 
If you choose not to make a shoebox, there is a catalog that you can look at that's full of gifts that you can still contribute to, but I do hope you guys decide to participate in this amazing project. I put the link to the Samaritan's Purse website down below where you can find more information about it. Please feel free to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and comment below if you made a shoebox and what items you included. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all again soon.